How's it going? It's Max here from Max Beer Review, and today is day 23 of 24 of the 24 beers of Christmas. And what do we have here? A different beer than what we've had all other 22 days. It is a Baltic Porter. And uh, I got a little kick out of reading the back of this, and I'll read it out to you. They say traveling begets transformation. From the port of London to the glacial shores of the Baltic Sea, a beer undertakes its journey, and a culture takes root in the heart of a foreign land. It teaches us adaptation, resilience, strength, and beauty, and that to thrive and prosper through the hostilities of nature and the vicissitudes of life, one must be strong. So the beer isn't made in the Baltic Sea. The beer's made in like Hochelaga, which is like a small, like little tiny, like, I don't know, it's like a suburb of Montreal somewhere. It's made in Hochelaga of all places. So uh, I don't know where they're getting all this whole Baltic cosplay thing going on right here. But anyways, we're gonna try out the Baltic Porter. The company is called Avant Garde Artisan Brassers. So I guess the company's Avant Garde and it's their Baltic Porter. Uh, one thing to note, it is 7.5%. Baltic porters are somewhat of a thick and a strong beer, and often it's known to have not that much carbonation. Let's now open it up and see what it tastes like. So I only poured myself a little cup today just to kind of show it off. It's kind of nice, but also it is quite a thick beer. So it's good to try it in moderation if you're drinking something thick, you know? All right, so I'll try a little bit right now. Let's see what it tastes like. Getting a lot of toasted grains. Has a bit of a dried fruit type taste to it. It isn't very carbonated. It's quite thick tasting. Almost a little bit of a coffee taste to it in terms of the bitterness, like a black coffee. It's a pretty good overall experience for a Baltic Porter. Some little criticisms that I'm getting is the alcoholic taste in it is a little bit pronounced. You know how some beers, especially cheaper beers, can taste a little bit more alcoholy. This one I'm noticing that the alcohol taste is quite strong on it. I'm not digging it as much as I'd like to dig it. Would I recommend it? I wouldn't recommend really a Baltic Porter to anyone. Let's give it a rating. So what's the score? I'm gonna give this one a 4.3 in terms of Baltic Porter. So if you're not a fan of Baltic Porters, this isn't gonna change your mind and stick to something else. So I'm giving it a 4.3 for Baltic Porters. A personal opinion of personal taste, do I enjoy it? I'm giving it a three on five for if I enjoy it. All right, that was day 23 of the 24 beers of Christmas. I'm glad you've uh, been here all this time. There's only one more day, one more big day, and uh, then we'll wrap it all up. The 24 days will be done, and it will be Christmas time for you. Look under the tree. There's three presents underneath. What are they? They're from me to you. One of them's a like button, one of them's a comment window, and one of them's a subscribe button. And those are all presents from me to you, so make sure to use them as much as possible. Hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for day 24, the last big finale of the 24 beers of Christmas.